Man. What about Lancelot, dude? What about him? Lancelot's, like, unwavering faith in his love, right? His totally stupid conviction is what made him, like, the greatest of all knights. Did Lancelot even it didn't really require... What the fuck, Seth? <laughs> what do you think about Lancelot, you are? Lancelot's a good example of a person who's sustained by faith. Even though he's not life critical. What about all? a lady that was cut up and put in a box and religious yeah. matter through? Yeah, I mean, maybe she was really happy before yeah, this. Yeah, whether somebody does something noble or great. I mean, Einstein, I think he's the greatest man to ever live, way more than Jesus. And, like, Einstein, he had a general sense of belief. He didn't really subscribe, like, his, I guess he was Jewish, but he didn't really subscribe Einstein to Jesus. Einstein isn't like Lancelot. <laughs> Lancelot? What great I, thing did Lancelot do? He performed mighty deeds. He crossed the sword bridge. Which who pulled out the sword from the stone? <laughs> Arthur. You know about the sword bridge? No. It's well, like so a, funny that you're like using land like. <laughs> I, I know. I, I know the name, but I don't know. It's, it's like somebody mentioning Johnny Appleseed. Like it's so. <laughs> It's like you bring up this character from Except, history. That no, you're Lancelot really is so much bit. more interesting than Johnny Appleseed. Really? What do you know about Johnny Appleseed? It's actually kind of it's actually kind of fascinating about Johnny Appleseed. Really? It's, it's not possible. Justin, me and Justin had a conversation. It's probably a half an hour long about apples, and it's like actually crazy and insane. Like every apple seed would make a different kind of apple tree. Right. So uh, Johnny Appleseed right. is bullshit. No, 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 no. Johnny Appleseed wasn't bullshit. He was actually really close to the legend. But no, you're, you're right about the apples. That if you grow apples from the seeds, it, 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 it could be uh, Any kind of edible thing. apple, it could be non-edible apple, it could be wild apple. So you don't know what it's going to produce. So all the apples that people are familiar with, like Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, are clones. Clones. they're clones. They're clones of an individual. Wow. Of an individual. Like I one, told you that. But they're, no, but they're also like well They're grass. They're grass. Yeah, yeah. What, what's grass, the base? But it's, it's all coming from and the same tree. We use like uh, dwarf trees, like uh, just trees that won't that won't apple, grow. That's all. Apple trees, or maybe even apple trees. They're just, they're just like I don't even know what they are. What the trees are? That's so important. we graft them into a okay, all right. Small trees, some kind of small trees. It looks right, like well, an apple. But there is a part in actually bringing us back to like the Muslim world, but in that in like um, there's a part of the world that's like has the wild apple trees where it all came from originally, where they originally got. China? Is it China? Yeah, China. yeah, and they're worried that, oh yeah, it's in Tibet or somewhere where, yeah, it's in where they, um, they're afraid that they're, like, somebody's going there and taking them back because what they're afraid of is if a particular virus attacks like the apples that we have in existence now, it'll wipe out all the apples because they won't be able to stop the virus because everything came from... Because they're close. Yeah. So they're trying to get these original seedlings so that they can develop new types of apple and preserve that don't come from the same apple tree. It's the craziest thing ever. But no, Justin was saying Johnny Appleseed, he was kind of like a retarded character in a way that he was just wild. Like he would just go across the country like in the legend with a pot on his head, but he was like all about nature and there was a form of Christianity that like believed in like nature and like like in the natural course of things, kind of like the Native American Indians that doesn't exist these days. But like Johnny Appleseed was a character like that. He believed in nature and like kind of he could relate to the Native Americans. So he would go ahead of the settlers and like talk to the Native Americans, convince them that the white man's cool, and he would plant this, he would plant all the apple seeds because back then they didn't use apples for eating. They used cider so they so he'd go ahead and plant all the seeds so when the trees grow grew that the settlers could use the apples to grow cider because you couldn't drink the water it was so polluted so they would always drink some cider because it was drinkable liquid so he would kind of pave the path for settlement why was the water polluted bacteria and stuff it's just like a, water wasn't always safe to drink maybe on I, right like maybe in some safe streets you wanna, yeah that's why people are drinking cider all the time. And apple cider, I guess, is the most common type that they would make. 
So I don't think Lance Slaughter's that much like Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> I don't know anything about Lance Slaughter. He crossed the sword bridge, which was nothing but a blade. It was an enormous blade. But did he actually live, like, or was he just like a Paul Bunyan type legend? Well, he's probably like a guy who had that name. Orlando. He did something Dude. that was deemed significant. It was probably somebody like in Charlemagne's you know, court. No, of course he was part of Arthur's court. I know, but he might have been based on somebody from Charlemagne's. No, there was a 